Minecraft Bedrock gets a lot of small updates that include bug fixes and Java parity, and the most recent update that came out a week ago was 1.19.20, and it did exactly that. But a few days after that, there was a secret update that only came out for some people on Xbox. So what is this update? Well, we'll look further into this. It fixes a lot of things and changes things too, and they're either good or bad. And today we're going to look into these things that are important mentioning. When you try to use chat now, the Xbox keyboard pops up and it now types in the keyboard opposed from Minecraft chat. Which seems fine at first, but this feature completely removes the ability to do some things. Let's go through all of them. It removes the ability to put text on different layers on a sign, which is really annoying as someone who uses signs very often in my builds. Now I have to use mobile or literally ask someone else to do it for me. Before you can just shift enter or press the enter button to go to the next layer, but now you can't because, well, it's in the Xbox keyboard. You have to memorize what you're typing in chat because you can't see the commands anymore because it doesn't type in chat, which means you also can't use the tab button anymore if you're on keyboard to instantly fill what you were typing. In the new update, they added an amazing feature where you can copy your current player coordinates or the block coordinates you're looking at and paste it. But now you can't even use it because it doesn't paste. And finally, it's more annoying using D-pad up to go to previously sent messages because it just opens the keyboard automatically and it doesn't even open the correct one. It also lags once you're done typing. I'm not sure who forced this, but I just don't like this. When you connect a mouse to your Xbox, a cursor appears. And in this new update, the cursor changes from the Xbox One to this new Minecraft One that has been seen on PS4. Now this new cursor looks better than the old one, but there's one big problem with it. If you turn in the game, your cursor moves with you. So if I put my cursor specifically right here and then move a tiny bit to the left, the cursor also moves instead of staying in that spot. Meaning let's say I'm in a Skywars game and I look to the first chest and while I'm going to the second chest I'll have no idea where my cursor is and it'll be the furthest distance away from the chest. There's a smaller problem with it which is the fact that it's a Minecraft cursor which means it'll lag with your game. Now this doesn't sound like an issue at all until you start playing for long periods of time and get pink glitch. Once you have, it makes looting chests or organizing your inventory much harder than it used to be, but Pink Glitch is getting fixed pretty soon. <laughs> On mobile and PC, you can get custom skins by either importing one from your device or using a skin pack that you've created or downloaded. On Xbox though, you can actually download things like custom skins by doing a really complicated method that I'm not really sure works anymore if you haven't done it already, but once you've downloaded it, for some reason you have to sign out of your account and sign back in to get your skins, which is weird because texture packs and add-ons are there once you load your game the first time, but now you don't even have to do this at all, which literally cuts off like half of the time it takes to load my game for me. But I'm not sure if it's the update or not, but my game has been loading way quicker now. So now when my game gets close to pink glitch, I can easily restart because the skins are always here and I don't have to load my game a second time to get it. Once you've installed a texture pack, you can put it on your own worlds, but not on global resources for whatever reason. But now you can put any texture pack on global resources. Before you would have to use a really complicated method of replacing the manifest file and using a texture pack beta in the marketplace into tricking the game to allow you to do so. And you could also only have one pack at a time. This will be awesome for things like videos or something. So what do I think of this update? Overall, it's great, but please fix the keyboard. That actually annoys me so much. It annoyed me so much that it mostly inspired me to make this video. But why is this update only out for some people? Well, I don't actually know. I posted on my community post asking if people have the new Minecraft cursor for example, and some people said that they did, while others said that they didn't, and it's pretty interesting. 
My friend that plays on Xbox also doesn't have this new update, which is pretty weird. I looked on Minecraft Preview Edition and all of the stuff I've talked about in this video are there. At least the cursor and the annoying keyboard. So I'm guessing this update will probably be included in the next Minecraft update. Now I kind of talked about 1.18.30, a Minecraft update that ruined some things in this short little video, so check that out if you're interested.